am I going to regret that my first video back to YouTube is me with my bare face? <laughs> Maybe. Um, but are we doing it anyway? Yes. See, I've been saying for forever that I want to come back to YouTube for like 18 months since the last time that I was really consistent. You know, I think in 2021, I maybe uploaded like six videos, 10 videos max, and I definitely have not touched my YouTube channel in forever. And you know, a lot of reasons for that, but definitely something that's been holding me back in the last several months, because I've been literally saying since like October that I want to go back to YouTube. What's been holding me back is like this stupid, like, I have to have the perfect video back first, and I have to like have all my makeup done and like look super cute, and like I can't have my debut back being me just like this. But you know what? If I've learned anything in life, it's that sometimes you just have to shut up and do things. They don't have to be perfect and they're not gonna be perfect and that's okay. You just you just make it happen. Messy action, right? I have a whole podcast episode about that. Did you guys know I started a podcast? <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna tell you guys some life updates because things have definitely changed <laughs> since the last time that I was active on YouTube. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, then you probably have been following along for tons of this, but I know there are a ton of people who don't have Instagram who follow me or who just like, you know, Instagram is wild. You don't always see my content. So if that's you, hello. I'm gonna tell you guys just some life updates, share with you what's been going on in my world, tell you a little bit about 2021 since I kind of dipped out on YouTube for all of it while I do my makeup. Also, we're really depending on a lot of natural light today, so we're just gonna shift in and out of good lighting and bad lighting. I'm also gonna keep looking at myself instead of the camera because I'm like new again. All of the things that I use on my face, I will leave in the description box down below. I'm gonna try to remember to do that. Also, all I've done so far is SPF because gorgeous, gorgeous girls protect their skin, especially in their 30s. And I have um, a primer. It's just the NYX Bear With Me primer. Look at me, a beauty YouTuber. That's the new life update. I've left coaching and I'm now a YouTuber. No, definitely not. But I have left fitness coaching. That's been the scary thing I've been afraid to announce on YouTube for a lot of reasons. My whole channel started in 2014 from my fitness journey, me being a competitor, getting in shape from 2014 through 2015. Um, and yes, I have two shades of foundation that I am mixing into my perfect shade because because. And if you follow me on Instagram, then this is old, old news. In fact, if you follow me on any platform other than YouTube, then this is not new to you, but I, no longer am in fitness coaching. I have made the shift to business coaching, which I started talking about a little bit on, um, I think in my last couple of videos, I started mentioning that I was doing business co coaching more. And in July, 2021, I officially stopped fitness coaching. Well, I like stopped offering fitness coaching. I still had a couple of client contracts that I needed to work through. So I still had clients for a few more months, but I stopped offering a fitness coaching and I now only offer business coaching. What I do specifically is I help other fitness coaches <laughs> become fitness coaches, whether you're like an aspiring fitness coach and you've wanted to be an online fitness coach, but like just like don't know how to make it happen or you're struggling to make it happen or you just have not had the support or like instructions on how to become an online coach or you currently are an online coach and you're just struggling to get full time or struggling to scale your business um, up into making a lot of money, I help you. And it's something that I've been doing since 2019. It's just been a bit more behind the scenes. Obviously the front facing part of my business was very fitness coaching focused and very fitness topics focused because that was still my main business. Um, it's what I love to do, but definitely over the last probably year, probably early 2021, I started realizing like, I just wasn't, I wasn't enjoying fitness coaching as much anymore. I guess that's not true. I was enjoying fitness coaching. I was not enjoying the process of marketing for fitness coaching because I didn't care about fitness that much anymore. I had really lost a lot of passion for just fitness coaching like the subjects around fitness coaching. Like I was tired of talking about macros, I was tired of talking about binging, emotional eating, mindset. Um, like those were the things that I was like an expert at and that I knew a ton about and that's what I held people in. But I was just like, I don't wanna talk about this anymore. Like I, you know, when I first started YouTube and Instagram and all of this years ago, and I first built my audience, I really was into fitness. I was really into lifting. I was really into bodybuilding and getting in shape and like my life's passion was fitness and wellness. And in the last several years, that has just started changing. 
where I still had a big appreciation for health and wellness. I still really enjoyed helping people with that. But my personal interests, I was just, that's not what I was really thinking about. Um, my interests really shifted. The things that I enjoyed talking about were starting to change. Um, I was really falling in love with the process of entrepreneurship and building a business. And I, in 2019, launched my fitness coaching business accelerator, which is my four month group coaching program for coaches who are like new coaches or aspiring coaches who wanna be online coaches, but just like don't know how. I launched that program in 2019 as kind of a passion project and I just fell in love with it. I really fell in love with coaching coaches and I realized that what I had done to build my business, it was very repeatable. It was very like you could duplicate the process that I had done and it was working for other people. And that was so cool to me. You know, the re part of why I believe I've been such an effective coach for people is because I'm very strategic in the way that I think. Despite being a very like mindset based coach, I'm very strategic. My brain likes to solve problems. And so I loved doing that in fitness, but I loved it even more in business. And having clients come to me and be like, I have been trying to launch my business and it's not working, or I'm trying to like build up my clientele online and I'm struggling to do so became the problem that I loved to solve. And I loved thinking about it and I loved talking marketing and sales and social media and um, like human psychology and behavior online. I just loved it. Like I've been studying this by doing this every day for seven years, starting in 2014. And I feel like there was nothing that I knew more than this. And so in July, 2021, a lot had happened in last year that we're gonna get to. But in July, 2021, I was just like, you know what? Life's too short to like keep doing something just because you think you have to. And I did, which is weird. I was, Ew, I look so, ugh. we're gonna just like trust the process. <laughs> I was really scared to switch. I thought people would think I was a fraud or a scam artist because so many people have so much negative stuff to say about business coaches, which is wild. Like y'all wanna talk about a scam, college, <laughs> universities, that is the scam. Oh, Lynette, leave it alone. But I, yeah, I was afraid of what people would think. I was afraid people would be disappointed. You know, gosh, I've been on YouTube and Instagram for seven years at that point doing the fitness thing. And I had so many people who loved my message and really, you know, resonated with my message and they loved me doing the fitness thing. And I knew I was gonna disappoint people. I knew I was gonna, just people were not gonna be, some people were not gonna be happy. By and large, people were so supportive and I was so thrilled with that. Um, I was really happy about that, but also mostly primarily happy with myself for just like doing what I wanted to do. You know, especially as a business coach, that's something that I teach so much is like, do what you wanna freaking do. Like, do not let what people think about you hold you back because life is short. And ultimately you've got to go to bed at night knowing that you're honoring you and what you want to do in this world. And that's, you know, that's what I believe in. That's literally like a core value for me. And I wasn't living that, which is also, I think part of why, which we'll get to next, 2021 was kind of a mother forker of a year. Let me tell you <laughs> guys, 2021, the first like eight months of that year was rough rough. By the way, I'm just like bronzing. I have like a cream bronzer. We're into cream bronzers and blushes now because it's 2022 and we want to look glowy, not bakey. Okay. So we have cream products and we bronze everything because this is a dead of winter and I'm six shades lighter than Casper the ghost. So anyway, um, 2021 was hard starting out for me. I would say the first eight months of 2021 were some of the hardest months of my life for a number of reasons, stuff that I won't get into. I actually talked a bit about this on my podcast, which if you're not listening to my podcast, you should. My podcast definitely took over as like my favorite thing to do in 2021 instead of YouTube. Um, it just felt like a new start for me where I could just talk about business and mindset as it relates to business and like chasing your dreams. And I felt safe there because it was new. If you follow my podcast and you've probably heard me talk about 2021 for me, but I got hit with some of the worst anxiety of my life in 2021. She looks crazy on camera right now. <laughs> Trust the process. Or maybe not. Maybe I will just look crazy today. Time will tell. I think starting in January, February of 2021, I just got hit with a ton of anxiety, which is weird because all of 2020, which was low key, the weirdest, worst year of our lives, I was actually doing pretty well. Like I was feeling really good and like my business was going incredibly well and I felt really happy. And it was actually 2021 where I felt like I was falling apart. And I've talked so many times before on YouTube and on social media that I have struggled with anxiety. I was literally diagnosed with general, generalized anxiety disorder in 2014. Um, so this is not just like a, oh my God, I like worry a lot situation. This is like, your girl has chemical imbalance. <laughs> 
So I'd been doing pretty well with the anxiety stuff for probably a couple of years. You know, in 2018, I really focused on getting my gut health under control, 2017, 2018. I wasn't working out as insanely hard. I wasn't doing, you know, crazy diets anymore. So I really felt like my hormones were starting to balance. My gut health was a lot better. And I felt like by and large, 2018, towards the end of it, 2019, and a lot of 2020, I felt like my anxiety was pretty under control, big picture anyway, right? You know, if you have anxiety, it's like, you never feel quite like a cool, calm, collected cucumber all of the time, but I definitely by and large felt really good. And then early 2021, lots of just like life stuff was happening, business stuff was happening that just felt terrifying to me. And it really rattled me and rattled a huge sense of safety that I was holding on to and a lot of paradigms and like things in my life were just shifting for me all at once. It's really hard to explain without going into extreme detail. I do go into detail more into the podcast episode that I'll link down below, but it just like bottom line, things were rough. It was really rough. Um, I started having panic attacks again, which I had not really had panic attacks in so long. I was struggling to sleep at night. I just felt like every day I literally had just my heart pounding, I had that cloud of anxiety around me where I just never felt safe, I never felt like I was okay. Um, it was very, very debilitating. And you know, it was really hard for me to run my business, it was really hard for me to show up online, I was still doing it. And thank God I have such an amazing team who's so supportive in helping my business continue to roll, which is why my business did continue to roll and last year was my best year financially in business, I'm so grateful for that. But like from January to probably about August, I, I was just going through spirals of anxiety, even to the point of depression because I felt so stuck and I felt like it was never gonna get better. And if you have experienced anxiety, you know how easily you can get trapped in that and how one panic attack can take you weeks to like emotionally recover from. And it's never just one panic attack, it's one and then another one the next day and then two in a day and then one a week later. And so it's like, you feel like you're just never getting the opportunity to rest and recover your nervous system and feel safe again. And I just felt really stuck in that, man. And just a lot was going on. And here's kind of an undertone piece of that is I think I wanted to leave fitness coaching. I think I wanted to leave fitness coaching and I was telling myself I couldn't do it. I was telling myself I was stuck in that and that I needed to do that. And that if I switched to business coaching full time that I would fail, that my audience would hate me, that I wouldn't receive support, that all my clients would go away which actually made no sense because I'd been running business coaching behind the scenes and it was literally matching what I was making in my front facing fitness coaching business. Literally, like I was literally making the same amount of money as same amount of money for me as my fitness coaching business was. And I was only running it kind of behind the scenes privately to a small Facebook group. And so I should have known like, bro, you're gonna be fine. Like it's gonna be an adjustment and some people may be disappointed, but like, LOL, remember how we're 30 year old adult women, we do what we want, I think forcing myself to stay in that when I should not have. It was rough. But in July, I decided, you know what? Very abruptly, by the way, I was literally on vacation in Tulum, Mexico with my business coach and some of my friends. And I was just like, I'm doing it. I am leaving fitness coaching and I'm making the announcement now. And I did, much to my poor team's dismay. They were like, we're doing what now? <laughs> what? So we, I made the switch. And you probably, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you know about that, but if not, this is your first time hearing it. Hi, I'm Lynette and I'm a business coach. I help online wellness coaches or aspiring online wellness coaches, fitness coaches, bodybuilding coaches, nutritionists, dietitians, therapists, whoever, build and scale their online coaching businesses. It's nice to meet you. So that, that was interesting. Uh, I think switching to business coaching and finally like just making that change did a lot for my anxiety because it seemed like shortly after that I started feeling a lot better, which just goes to show you, man, like the more you just try to suppress yourself and who you are and what you want to do to make other people happy or because you're telling yourself it won't work, I just think you're going to be miserable. I was not happy. And let me be clear. I loved my fitness clients. I still to this day love my fitness clients. I miss those girls. Um, so I was coaching some of them for a year or longer, but it was the right move for me and I'm happy, I'm really happy. My business is doing so well and I'm incredibly happy. We'll talk about what this means for the YouTube channel in a bit. Um, I'm just trying over here to do these eyebrows, which I don't want none of y'all to talk about my eyebrows. Un we have microbladed eyebrows, which was very 2016. And I don't think it's a very 2022. We all want the bushy eyebrows, but that's not really an option for me because before microblading, I had like 11 eyebrow hairs. I had a teaspoon of eyebrow hairs. So I don't really get the bushy 
eyebrow look. So we're gonna be stuck with our 2016 eyebrows. We're gonna love them. And no one's gonna make fun of me or I'm gonna cry. Um, let me finish my other eyebrow. Something to note, we don't quite match the rest of my body. But that's okay because I said so. I'm not leaving the house today. I'm just getting cute for literally no reason. Yay. Um, also, I did a cream and a cream bronzer and blush. And then what I've just been doing lately to save time, and maybe this is like not ideal, but I've just been using this. It's like a blush, but it's this like, it's like almost like a contour color. It's not, it's not a contour color. It's just like a really muddy blush color. And I just use this exclusively and it's like by contour and blush and I don't think that's allowed, but it's whatever you want. You know what I mean? This is also quickly turning into really intense makeup. <laughs> but like, are we new here? Did we expect anything less from me? Like I just go a little too hard with makeup always. So, and blush is always the first to go. So we have chiseled cheeks to just sit in our house this afternoon and it's fine. But anyway, um, I kind of lost my train of thought. What am I doing? So. Switching to business coaching, I really feel helped a lot with my anxiety, but I also did something else that helped so much. So, so, so very much. But I started working with a um, naturopathic doctor. Um, her name is Dr. Shannon, Dr. Shannon Bennett. She actually, she does a lot of stuff online too, kind of like health coaching to a degree. Uh, she specializes in women, especially like business owners, uh, but even just normal women who struggle with anxiety and they know that there are like hormonal, um, lifestyle reasons for it, like things that they are doing or that they have like, they believe they have chemical imbalances, whatever the case may be. So that is who she works with. I know her from a mastermind I did in 2018 and I've just always kind of kept up with her. She's worked with me as a fitness client. Um, and yeah, so I started working with her in August because I really just loved her message. I spent a lot of time last year trying different like anxiety medication and different things that just they felt like very short-term solutions or they would work for a little bit and then very much not work anymore. And I'd always been a person who really just favored, what do I wanna say, like natural remedies. Not even just natural remedies, but like figuring out like why is my body doing this weird thing and can we make my body stop doing the weird thing rather than just supplementing or medicating the symptom which, and this is nothing towards anyone who does use anxiety medication or mental health medication. Like I, I was using it. I think that there's such a time and place for it. And I think if it's working for you, then like do your thing, girl. For me though, I wanted something that I felt like was going to remedy the anxiety and something Dr. Shannon really uh, believes in is overcoming anxiety, like actually healing anxiety, not just uh, suppressing it or medicating the symptoms, but actually teaching your body inside out that it is safe teaching your brain inside out that it is safe and really learning to remedy that anxiety so that you don't experience it anymore. Be right back. So I'd be right back. Like I literally just stopped the camera <laughs> and nobody knows I was just grabbing my crusty dusty eyeshadow palette. I've been using this from ColourPop. It's called Fame. They 100% do not sell this anymore. And it's too bad because these colors are like my dream eyeshadow palette. Very co cool toned, uh, like purpley tans, sparkly colors. Um, so I normally do like a full-on smoky eye. This video will be 30 minutes long. It's already gonna be 30 minutes long. It's gonna be like 50 minutes long if I do a full-on smoky eye today. So what we're doing is this weird janky thing where I'm just gonna put one eyeshadow color on these two fingers and we're just gonna kind of like pat it on, heaviest on my actual lid and then kind of like fade it out on the crease. Um, it does it look great right now? No. Will it look great in a few minutes? Maybe. But this is what I do when I'm just like not in the mood, nor do I have time for a full on smoky eye. Y'all know me, I will get glam to sit in my house and do nothing and have no apologies for it. But I don't always wanna spend the time doing that. So I will just take like a clean brush and I just kinda like feather out those edges so that it's not like a harsh line of where the eyeshadow color ends. And then it's like I've got something on my eyelids, but it's not like, intense. Are some of you cringing? Or is there a makeup artist in the audience? It's like, Lynette, that's not a look. Well, you know, I might not be, but it works for me and it's fast. And yeah, and then I'm just taking a white shadow and I'm just kind of like right here again, so that there is eyeshadow on all of my eye area. Um, but it's not, I'm not taking the time to like do some skillfully crafted smoky eye look. Awesome. Uh, and then I will just take a really like fine, can we see that? A little, uh, almost like eyeliner brush and I will take like this 
uh, little gray, no, grayish, brownish. It's like a sparkly brown color. I will pop a little of that under my eyelid. Lower lash line, that's what we're talking about. And just adds a little bit of uh, balance to the eye look so it's not just like shadow on top, nothing on bottom. It looks bad right now, but I will be adding liquid liner to the top. Trust the process. That's the lesson. That's the lesson today is to trust the process. And also, when you're 30, you now have fine lines under your eyes that your, found your foundation and your concealer just kind of settle into. Aging is so fun. But yeah, so I've been working with Dr. Shannon since August of last year, and we've been using something called homeopathic remedies, which are these, it's like a supplement, but like not. It really, its job is to trigger your body to heal in different ways. And so we've been using a couple different ones. And man, my first month using it, it's like I was a different person. I stopped having so much of the anxiety that I normally experienced. I stopped having panic attacks pretty much right away. I was sleeping better, I didn't feel anxious anymore, I didn't have intrusive thoughts, I didn't have any of those issues. I wasn't sensitive to sound anymore, I wasn't sensitive to like heat and temperatures, I didn't feel, um, I didn't have claustrophobic feelings anymore, like it just all went away. It was wild. So since then we've had ups and downs a little bit in the anxiety journey, but by and large my anxiety today is so much better than it was a year ago. Um, even through really hard times and like tough days and like the ups and downs of being a business owner and just like life stuff, man, I handle life so much better and more easily and I feel so much more equipped and less like, I don't wanna use this word cause it's not true, but I've, I felt crazy at times. Anxiety makes you feel crazy because you, you feel like you know that the things you're worried about are not normal, they're not, they make no sense. There's no logic to why you're feeling upset or panicked or unsafe, but like you can't, stop that fear from coming. And it was, I was so stuck in that for so much of last year. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I know you guys always wanna see me do eyeliner, but I'm getting like stage fright. So I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm gonna do my winged liner with my little physician's formula um, eye booster and I'll be RB. So yeah, man, like I'm really grateful for Dr. Shannon. I'm really grateful for that, for pff, homeopathic medicine, which fun fact, if you Google that, it's called like a pseudo science. That's fine. Um, it literally changed my life. So I'm forever grateful for homeopathy and um, just natural medicine, alternative medicine. Now that I'm saying this, I'm thinking YouTube's gonna like flag this video because they don't like anything that's like that. But whatever, I'm really excited about that. I'm feeling a lot better. I still have my ups and downs with anxiety, but by and large, I'm feeling a lot better. It feels really good. I'm just chopping up my lash, by the way. <laughs> My false lash. Um, yes, I'm still wearing false lashes on just random Wednesdays that I stay at home and don't do anything. I'm really stuck in 2016 makeup, leave me alone. Yeah, I think between getting really, really awesome support for my anxiety and then just doing, <laughs> shifting my business to the business that I really wanted to be in and that felt so good, really changed everything for me. But I will say this, coming back to YouTube has been <laughs> scary for me. It's been scary for me. YouTube is a scary place. I, I think I mentioned this last year when I did my like 37th. I'm coming back to YouTube video. That was a lie. <laughs> not intentional lie. Every time that I've said I'm coming back to YouTube, I'm not like trying to play you guys. I truly have every intention of coming back to YouTube. Life just gets busy and you know, I was in such a limbo with my business last year. I like never knew what I was doing. Next, uh, I might have mentioned in my last video, YouTube kind of freaks me out sometimes because some people are really mean on YouTube <laughs> and they're definitely very vocal of their opinions. Not all of you guys, you guys are cool. And you're like, Lynette, we are on team Lynette and we just think whatever you do is great. And we are happy that you're thriving. Love, love, love. But some people just want me to make the content they want and they want me to be who they want me to be. And if I step outside of that bubble, they're gonna let me know they're mad. Which, you know, it's a free country. You can say whatever you want. If you don't like me, you're allowed to not like me. If you don't like what I do, you're allowed to do that, but it's hard, you know? It's hard putting yourself out there and creating content and especially something you're so passionate about just to have people be like, you're stupid. <laughs> so yeah, so I've been, I, I think I've been, you know, I've been saying for months to my team, like I'm gonna go back to YouTube. Every time I have a team call with my team, they literally start shooting ideas my way of like, do a video on this, this would be really fun. And I just have been like, well, I have to wait till I have like a six hour time gap 
of free time and I have to wait for this and I have to wait till I lose 10 pounds and I have to wait for this and whatever and like I'm just so tired of my excuses you know what I mean so I'm like in the middle of an FCBA launch right now I'm launching this pro this I'm opening enrollment for FCBA my fitness coaching business accelerator my four-month program for new and aspiring online coaches and something I keep saying to them is like dude stop waiting for the perfect time stop waiting for the perfect things to be lined up for you the perfect like you know everything in order stop waiting to be ready because ready is a fantasy you're never gonna feel ready and things are never gonna be perfect for you and if if they will if they are one day all your ducks are lined up in a row you're starting 10 years later than you wanted to so i was like okay luna we can either like wait for that day to come sometime in june of 2024 where you finally feel ready to go back to youtube or you can just do it you can just do your makeup on youtube and talk to your friends on youtube because yeah um, so here we are. I'm gonna apply my lash now. By the way, these are the, I think these are the Ardell Wispies. They're, they're my all-time fave. They're, uh, they're really easy to apply. They have a very easy, flexible band that you can really just apply. And yes, I do apply lashes before I apply mascara because, um, I let my lash dry and then I will apply mascara on my natural lashes just kind of a little bit here and it kind of fuses my natural lash with the false lash. It's also so much easier to apply a false lash when you don't have mascara on. So fun fact, obviously it kind of ruins the lashes. I really only end up getting like maybe three wears out of each set of lashes, but it's not a big deal to me. So yeah, so here we are. It's 2022, the very beginning of 2022. It's going to be an awesome year. I'm very excited about it. Like I mentioned, uh, the podcast. <laughs> I launched a podcast last June and it really, it's called the Balance and Thrive Podcast. Low key, we're probably going to change the name here soon. Stay tuned for that. But I friggin' love that podcast, you guys. I, it feels very much like how YouTube has felt for me in the past, where I can just go on and talk about stuff that I really am passionate about. And so I make a ton of content for new and aspiring coaches, um, but really anybody who, if you're, you know, in, in uh, network marketing, if you sell something online, if you want a boutique, like anyone who uses social media as a platform to do stuff. I really think that my podcast would help you out a lot. I also speak, you know, to like imposter syndrome and confidence and living your best life. And I like, you know, I've interviewed Dr. Shannon on there. I have um, interviewed a few other people. It's just, I love it. So definitely check that out. I've been having so much fun uploading to that weekly, but it is very much my intention to come back to YouTube. This is a totally different platform for me. I love creating, like, <laughs> I love creating content and especially video content. This feels like home to me. Being on camera and talking to myself in a room alone <laughs> feels very much like, feels like home to me. And being on YouTube is where I have met some of my all time favorite clients and even some of my all time favorite friends. So I'm back, baby, she says for the 87th time and no one believes her. <laughs> I have every intention of being back this year and utilizing this space, but I will say this, um, it's gonna be a different space than it used to be. I don't see myself uploading fitnessy content anymore. I think that's also part of why I kind of fell off with YouTube is that I didn't really want to be uploading grocery hauls or talking about macros or balance. Like I just didn't have the interest in talking about that stuff, but I do really wanna still share you know, my life. That's something I've always loved doing on YouTube is sharing my life, sharing what I do as a business owner. I mean, you guys, I'm I'm 30 years old. I've built two multiple six-figure business at this point in my life. I help women every day build their confidence, build online businesses, do stuff that they're scared to do. Like I, I have so much that I still wanna share with the world and I love having YouTube as an avenue for that. And I'm just ready to, to come back and do what I wanna do here. So what I imagine will be here will be some stuff about like business, building a business, you know, raising your confidence, sales, um, how to sell online, how to build a business in this day and age, how to build social media businesses, content, things like that. But I also wanna share you my life with you guys more again of, what it's like to be a business owner, how, how it is day to day in my life, showing behind the scenes, showing what I do, you know, sharing just my family with you again, my cats, my husband, um, and also sharing this really cool news that I can't believe I haven't mentioned until now, but uh, we're moving. We're moving houses. We, crazy story. There's gonna be a podcast episode about it. It might already have been dropped by the time this goes up, but we are, we sold our house. We bought, bought another house and we're gonna be moving in the next like month. <laughs> we're very excited it was very sudden um i go into detail in the podcast of how sudden it was it was wild how sudden it was but we're so excited the house is so gorgeous i feel so grateful for the house it's a house i never in my wildest of dreams would have thought that i would be able to afford and so it's been a very interesting it's been a very interesting week for me a very awesome week just 
really celebrating myself, celebrating what I've done and what I've built and um, you know how God's blessed us and blessed our lives and had favors on our businesses and what we do online and it's it's still so wild. You know, I started this YouTube channel from my 640 square foot apartment that I was paying $600 a month for that we were struggling to make ends meet and I was making $800 a month and never never could that version of me believe that I would be where I am today. And I don't ever want that to come off as like braggy or like, look at me. But like the message in that for me is just like where you are right now in your life, in your business, whatever, you could be somewhere a year from now, three years from now, six years from now, three months from now, that you never ever in a million years thought was possible for you. I've seen it happen in my life. I see it happen in my clients' lives. I've seen it just take place and had crazy things happen that you never ever would have thought would have happened and maybe it's weird to me because I'm such a person who struggles with anxiety and there's a very like doom and gloom part of my personality that's like assumes the worst is going to happen um and so then to see my life like work out <laughs> for me and to have the success that I've had and see it continue to grow is just like wait what am I being punked <laughs> is this monopoly money but no dude like what I know how to do works. It works for me, it works for other people. I'm having the opportunity to serve so many people. I have served thousands and thousands of people through my fitness coaching business, you know, hundreds and hundreds now in my business coaching business. And it's just so cool. It's so cool when you take what you know to help people and you build a service out of it and then you go do that and you help people and you make money doing it and you like buy nice houses. <laughs> It's very cool. I'm very grateful. I'm very excited to share that. I want to share the house with you guys and like decorating it. I'm so excited for home decor and having a nice, beautiful, big house to decorate. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. I'm going to put my mascara on before my freaking mascara went wand dries out. This is just a basic NYX worth the hype waterproof mascara. Um, I don't, I'm not really picky about mascaras most of the time because I just use them to, like you see, just like kind of lightly apply a little coat of mascara because my natural lash is obviously not pitch black like these uh, false lashes. So we need a little mascara to make sure that they look fused together. And then a little on the bottom. I feel like I'm missing a step. Like I feel like I'm missing a whole freaking step because I've just been distracted talking to you guys. I guess we'll find out when we look at my face or I get to the end of the day and I'm like, what happened? I did miss um, setting spray. Uh, too late now. If I put it on now, my lashes might start to lift up from like the liquid and my mascara might start to run. But you know what? I don't need setting spray. I'm going to sit in my house after this. We're fine. <sighs> Lip product. So mention is um, in addition to FCBA. So that's my course for like new and aspiring online courses coaches, and it's really more of a course, it's a live coaching program, I'm in it coaching people. Um, in addition to that, I have created an Instagram course called Social Media with Impact. And when this video goes up, I'm probably actually actively enrolling for it. I only want, I only release it a few times a year. Um, and so Social Media with Impact is my course. It's a like do it yourself course, you go through it at your own time at your own pace. But it's everything that you need to know about building an Instagram profile, an Instagram account, creating Instagram content, showing up on Instagram, like how to show up, what kind of content to make to attract buyers for whatever service-based business you have. So whether you are um, like a fitness coach or a life coach or a therapist, it's really, it's designed for coaches. It's really designed for like fitness, wellness, health coaches, but I've had life coaches buy this course. I've had doctors buy this course and it works incredibly well for them. As long as you are like a, um, a service-based provider on Instagram, it will work for you. And uh, yeah, it's really exciting. I'll leave the link for that down below, but I, I've just been doing so much in my business and I'm so excited about it. Um, can we just like sit down somewhere more casual? This is like, I'm done with my makeup, so <laughs> let's go sit down. Hi, yeah, we didn't get the hair done. It's fine. No worries. But yeah, I'm really excited for where this channel is going. I know that not everyone's going to resonate with the content that I'm making on my YouTube now. That's okay, you know? But if you are someone who is interested either in just like Lynette's life because you've followed along for so long, or you are someone who is an aspiring online coach or would love to be an online service provider and is excited to see content a little bit about that, as well as seeing like behind the scenes in my business, behind the scenes in my life and how I'm running all of this and um, that that's interesting to you, then definitely stick around. I'm really excited to show you guys all of that as well as like the house stuff and just a lot of cool things that are on the horizon for me in 2022. 
and wow, it feels so good to be back recording on my camera. It really does. I did not expect that. I thought it was gonna feel really awkward. When I recorded a video a year ago saying like, I'm back on YouTube and sorry I've been gone for a while, it felt so awkward to me. And again, maybe I just like wasn't ready to come back or I was still stuck in like giving people what I felt like they wanted versus like what I wanted to do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm very excited to keep showing you guys more content and um, to get back to this this year, so. Awesome. Thanks for hanging out. I'll check you out in the next one.